Hi, I'm Anja Hui. In this video, I will explain about my FYP project, which is Experimental and Computational Analysis of Melting Process of a Phase Change Material PCM for Photodite Application. Solar energy is one of the important sources of renewable energy. As we know, PV panel can capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity. However, the efficiency of PV panel will decrease in some hot climate countries such as Malaysia. Phase change material, PCM, can be used to cool down the PV panel and improve its efficiency. Now I'm going to explain about the methodology of this research. First is the experiment setup. A specimen with 5 grams of paraffin wax RT35 was prepared and heated at 333 Kelvin. The temperature and the liquid fraction of the specimen are recorded every 30 seconds. This figure shows the setup of the experiment. From this figure, we can see that the PCM specimen was heated at 60 degrees, which is equal to 333 Kelvin. The infra camera was used to observe the change of temperature and liquid fraction of PCM for every 30 seconds. Next, the infra camera was connected to a computer with Irbis 3 analysis software. By using this software, 9 points were pinned randomly on the PCM to get its average temperature. Next, the color range was observed to get the liquid fraction when the PCM was melt. Now, I am going to explain about the methodology of simulation in this research. As is from version 2020, R1 software was used for modeling and simulation of the melting of PCM. This is the ANSYS front software that I used to run the simulation of melting process of PCM. And this is the geometric model that I designed and it acts as the PCM domain. So next, I need to create the thermophysical properties of PCM into this software. And last, I will run the simulation of the graph of temperature versus time and the liquid fraction versus time of the PCM. Now, I am going to share about the results of experiment and simulation in this research. I have calculated the average temperature of PCM for every 30 seconds and plot it into a graph as shown in this figure. And this is the results of liquid fraction for every 30 seconds which I get from the experiment. This is the simulated temperature versus time graph of PCM in 900 seconds. And this is the simulated liquid fraction versus time graph of PCM in 900 seconds. From the results of simulation, we can get the controls of temperature and liquid fraction. This video shows the temperature of PCM domain from 30 seconds to 900 seconds. The blue color zone shows the low temperature and the red color zone shows the high temperature. At the end of the melting process, all the PCM is in liquid phase and the properties become constant. This video shows the controls of liquid fraction of PCM domain from 30 seconds to 900 seconds. By observing the controls, the shape and motion of melting interface as the time passes can be determined. The red color represents the condition when PCM is completely liquid, and blue color represents the PCM is completely solid. This is the comparison between the change of temperature of PCM for every 30 seconds in experiment and simulation. Next, this is the comparison between the change of liquid fraction of PCM for every 30 seconds in experiment and simulation. The simulation and experimental results shows great agreement. Slight variation shown might be caused by some environmental disturbance that make the experimental results less accurate. For example, the experiment is carried out in an air-conditioned room. Thus, the heat applied to the PCM specimen will be less than 333 Kelvin and drop the accuracy of its results. Next, the temperature of the PCM specimen during experiment might be affected by the contact thermal resistance between the specimen and the heat pad. Next, there might be some chemical impurities in the paraffin wax RT35. This is an unknown value that was not taken into account for the simulation. In conclusion, the change of temperature and liquid fraction of PCM with time were observed in this research. Both experimental and simulation results show that the melting point of paraffin wax RT35 is 308 Kelvin. Although there is a difference between values of experimental results and simulation results, however, most of the results are following to the theoretical results. So, this is all about my research. Thank you.